non-inverting amplifier. Here's the circuit for the non-inverting amplifier using an op-amp. These two resistors, RF and RD, are the ones which we're going to use to set the voltage gain of this amplifier. And we've got the formula here, 1 plus RF over RD. We're also going to use gain equals V out over V in, um, in this, with this circuit. We've got a rule here that negative feedback makes the inputs the same unless the output is saturated. And that's true for all op-amp voltage amplifiers. The input resistor here, we cover this with the impedance video. So let's go through uh, an example, a worked example, to work out how this works. So let's say we've got two volts going into the non-inverting input. Negative feedback is going to make the inputs the same, which means that the inverting amp input is also going to be two volts. So we've got two volts at this point in the circuit. OK, we know we've got two volts here. We've got five kilo ohms here. So we can work out the current flowing through that resistor. So it's going to be V over R. We've got two volts across the 5K resistor, which gives us 0.4 milliamps. The next stage, we know that we've got 0.4 milliamps flowing through this resistor. It's also flowing through this resistor as well. No current goes into the input of the op-amp. It's got an infinite gain, infinite uh, input impedance rather. So we can work out V out, and V out is going to be the voltage across the 20 kilo ohms that we've got in total there. So V out is going to be 0.4 milliamps times 20k, which gives us 8 volts. Now to work out the gain, V out over V in, 8 volts going out uh, at the output when we've got 2 volts going in, which gives us 4 as a gain. If we do a quick check, if we put 15k in here, if we put 5k in here, 15 divided by 5 is 3, add the 1, that gives us 4. We're going to go through four examples now. So you might be asked in the exam, you've got a V in, you've got the two resistors, what's V out going to be? So what we do is we use the formula here, 1 plus RF over RD. So we just plug in the numbers, we've got 10K divided by 5K, and that gives us 2. Add the 1, that gives us a gain of 3. Now we need to work out V out, so we're going to use this formula, gain equals V out uh, divided by V in. So we rearrange that and we get V out is gain times V in. So we use the gain from here, so we get 3 times the 2 volts going in. This gives us 6 volts at the output. So we know that we've got 2 volts going in, we're going to have 6 volts coming out. Next example uh, would be to get you... Uh, we've got V in, we've got V out, so we can work out the gain of this and to work out suitable values for the resistors here. So gain's V out over V in, which is 6 volts at the output, 1.2 volts on the input, which gives us a gain of 5. So if we use this formula here, gain equals 1 plus RF over RD. If we just take the 1 across to the other side of the equation, put in the numbers, so the gain is 5, subtract 1, we end up with 4. So RF divided by RD is equal to 4. We've got to choose suitable resistors. I would always choose something nice and easy for RD. So let's go for 10K. Uh, for the exam, it's got to be at least 10 kilo ohms. Sorry, it's got to be at least 1 kilo ohm, but I'll go for 10 kilo ohms just to play safe. So if RF over RD is 4 and we've got 10K as RD, RF's got to be 40K. Example 3. Calculate the gain from the graph. So we've got a graph showing V out against V in. So what you want to do is you want to choose a nice point on the graph, nice easy points to read. This is about as easy as it gets. V out's 10 volts when V in is 5 volts, as we've written here. So using the formula here, V out over V in for gain, put in the numbers 10 divided by 5 will give us a gain of 2. So this is a graph that shows a gain of 2. What we've got here is saturation, where the output saturates at plus and minus 13 volts. Next example here, we've got drawing the graph. So we've got a, uh, we've got, uh, a non inverting amplifier, we've got RF and RD here. So using the formula, RF over, uh, 1 plus RF over RD, plug in the numbers, so we've got 5k divided by 10k and we add that to the 1 and we end up with a gain of 1.5 or 1.5. So how are we going to draw the graph? Well what you want to do, you want to pick a nice easy point. So 5 volts is particularly easy on this one. 
and when the input is 5 volts, the output is going to be one and a half times bigger, so it'll be 7.5 volts. So we plot that point there, and we get a line, a straight line through zero through that point. And we've got to remember we've got a saturation of plus and minus 13 volts.